All right, guys, welcome back to another PSA submission reveal. We got Sean here with Gym Class Cards, one of the sports card teachers from this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking this video out. If you aren't already subscribed, please go ahead and do that now. It really does help us out and make sure that you are going to get to see any other videos that we release here at our channel. So we really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything and is super helpful. So today we're doing a big PSA submission of 60 cards. So I sent in 60 cards and we're going to see what how we did. I'll have to add it all up at the, at the end, but so I'm not really sure what percentage we did on PSA 10s, but not bad here with this batch and hope you enjoy seeing what we got. So let's first start out with the first card that I'm just going to show you that got an inauthentic. All right. So it was the Shohei Otani. No idea why this got an inauthentic. So we will find out because I'm thinking about sending this bad boy into another grading service to see what happens there. No idea why it did not. It came back as, you know, an authenticity issue. So there is our first card that we got. A little disappointed in that one, but that's okay. All right, here we go. We're going to first start out with a Chase Young Vertex Red. The Vertex Reds are out of 199 that you can see. Wouldn't have sent this in if it wasn't a numbered Vertex. And so because of that, I did. And we took a 10 on it. So it's going to be interesting to see what I can get for that on eBay. So there's our first 10. That's what I like to see. Good way to start. Uh-oh, we got another Jemmy 10 with the Garrett Wilson Green Mosaic. Beautiful card. As you can see, two for two, two for two. Can we keep it rolling? Here now we got the two Panini Dunrass rated rookie and we got another Gem Mint 10. Another classic card. Coffee Boy and I love this card uh, and we need him to keep, keep playing well this year. Next, we got the Jalen Hurts Dynagon Rookies Gem Mint 10. This is not the silver, but either way, really nice card. Gem Mint 10. A little baseball coming at you and this is a card that I, I hope I don't really want to sell it because I think this is like such a sweet card um, tops update Otani and Achiro really nice card um, not sure what that what it's selling for right now with Otani's injury a lot of his stuff is down right now um, I was I bought a lot of his stuff and then all of a sudden he gets injured so we'll see what happens there with this card but Pretty sweet card, in my opinion. Man, we haven't had, gotten one without a Gem Mint 10. Oh, another Gem Mint 10. Let's go. Um, this is the 2020 Panini Mosaic Jalen Hurts Classic. This is the base, but I do love a nice base, especially when it gems out like it did. Keep it rolling right along. No, our first nine. Okay, Dunruss, rated rookie Trevor Lawrence. Usually get tens on these. I'm pretty money on those. So a little disappointed there, but that's all right. We'll make that start the nine pile. There we go. That's what we like to see. Send another one of those in, and we got a 10 on this. These used to get me about 60, 65 bucks. They're down to about, I can get about 45 bucks for these. So if you're looking to grade, not a bad idea to grade these. Buy them for anywhere between five and 10 bucks and can um, sell them for 45 plus, typically is what I've been seeing. Next, we got never gotten a 10 on this. The Trevor Lawrence Optic Rated Rookie. Um, always take nines on these. No idea. If it's, if it's a Fields, I can send it in and it'll be money. But for whatever reason, these Lawrences are just difficult to take those and gem them out. So this one has me baffled. So I'm going to let get, let the camera kind of see. No idea. Okay. Seven. I'm not really sure. Sorry. I'm trying to make the camera angle. I mean, do you guys see anything on this? Must be a surface issue that I did not see. That scrolls that should come off. Good. No idea on this thing. I was excited about this card. Anything Justin Fields though is down. So disappointed. Not sure what I'll do with this, but that took a seven. So that hurts. That hurts. Next, we got the Justin Fields Retail Illusions. These have really dropped as well. Just anything Justin Fields. But it's a 10 nonetheless. So we will take any of those 10s. All right, we did send a bunch of Jordans in in this batch. So here's our first Jordan. It took a nine. These are very hard to get a 10. So I'm pleased with the nine. I'm assuming it's because of this issue right here in that corner. But I don't remember sending it in with that issue. So there's sometimes I get cards back and I'm not really sure how or what happened between when we when they sent them in and when we get them back. But 
obviously took a nine on that. Could be worse, but we will see. Moving on, we have a Joe Burrow Gem Mint 10 Luminance Pink. Love that card. Classic. Ralphie Bueno loves that card too. He loves the white unis. We like this a lot. The Vertex Jordan Love. Jordan Love's not playing so well right now, but nice looking card. Love the Vertex. Took a 10 on that. Next card is the Joe Burrow Illusions Retail. It used to get 80 for this. Now it's down to like 45, 50. I've had a little trouble selling some of these, so um, not sure what's going on. Burrow needs to pick it up, um, but nonetheless, gemmed out. So we will take it. Next card is a Tim Duncan Tops rookie. Tim Duncan's a personal favorite of mine. Besides Michael Jordan, Tim Duncan, I'm a Spurs fan. This may go in the personal collection um, because I've been trying to get a 10 of this. I'm trying to get the Kobe, the 96 Kobe 10 of this as well. So if you got any of those out there, let me know. I'd love to buy them from you. But took a 10. Probably going to end up adding that to the personal collection. Next, we took a 10 on a LaMelo Ball. Okay, LaMelo Ball, the future of the NBA. Nice little rated, Dunnars rated rookie. 10. And I think all these, I got all these 10s. That means all the 9s and 8s and 7s are coming up. We got the Chet Holmgren, Silver Prism Emergent. Look at that pretty card. Look at that. Love it. Gem Mint 10. Next, we, oh, I forgot I sent this in. This is a Rob Gronkowski rated rookie done from Dunruss. It took a gem mint 10. I'm super pumped. 2010. Another one that I'm like, oh, do I just keep it in my personal collection or do I sell it and make a little money? We'll see what happens, but beautiful card. Super pumped about that one. And we're, we're rolling. We got a, a Trevor Lawrence rookie wave. Classic. Gem mint 10. We got a Jonathan Taylor took black, prison black silver. Took a nine. Uh, I'm not actually exactly sure why this took a nine. You guys tell me. Don't see any. It might be a pock right there. But other than that, I'm not really sure what was going on here with this card because I thought that was a guarantee, a GCF guarantee. All right, another Jordan. We took a seven on this. As I look at this card, pretty clean in my opinion. Edges, corners good. Corners pretty good. Trying to not get the glare there. I don't know. Let's we'll see the back. I don't know, man. I don't know why this took a seven. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know. We try to send, only send in tens. Maybe some occasionally we're like, eh, it could be a nine, but we really we try to only send in the best of the best, and we didn't do it there. Took another ten on this burrow luminance. We took a ten on another retail illusions from burrow. Back to the Jordans. Took a nine on this upper deck Jordan. All right, not sure why, but can't win them all. We took a 10 on this Hertz Luminance. Classic. Ellie De La Cruz, Shades of Greatness. Pumped about this card. I actually don't know what this can get right now. He was super hot when I bought this. I didn't hear his name as much towards the end of the season, but nonetheless, I will be um, probably looking to move this card. Maybe I'm not going to be in a rush. It might be worth a lot more as the season comes up in spring, but definitely a nice card and gemmed out. Next, we have a Gem Mint 10 Luminance Teal. Luminance Teal. Gem Mint 10. I love these legendary logos. I do get, I'm, a, I'm about 50% on these. I sometimes get 10s on them. Um, took a 9 on this one. Let's see, there's some pox. Yes, this was the one that I was like, should I send it or not? There's a pox right in the middle. But other than that, a beautiful looking card. That took a 9. Put that in the 9 pile. Next, we have... A Gem Mint 10 Retail Illusions from Jalen Hurts. Ellie De La Cruz Bowman Draft Mint 9. We'll move a little bit faster. A Silver Score took a 9. These are hard. I did get a 2 in the last batch, but um, this one took a, to a 10. This one took a 9. That had a print line. I think that's why. Um, we have an Illusions Retail from Trevor Lawrence that took a 10. All right, our Chronicles Base took a 10 from Trevor Lawrence. A Illusions Retail from Hertz that took a 10. A Trevor Lawrence Elite Series Rookies that took a 10. We got another Chronicles Base that took a 10. We got an, a green. I always think get these confused. I think they're teal, but they actually are green. Took a 9. And an, this is not the retail. This is the hobby. Okay, so these cards actually come in a thicker case, and it's a thicker card. And these hold a little more value than the retail. And this one is a Gem Mint 10. So let's go. Add it to the pile. So if you can look here, stack's looking pretty good. Stack's looking pretty good there of 10s. 
Um, let's keep rolling. Let's keep it rolling. We got a nine on this Bryce Young Contenders College ticket. This was the base card, but I was figured, you know what? We're going to send it in because who knows what's going to happen. And I wanted to get ahead of the game when it came to Bryce Young. We got another Bryce Young. This is a nice card. Bowman's Best University Refractor. Look at the shine on that. Let's turn that around. Okay, you can see where it says Refractor. Pretty sweet card. I'm not sure what we're going to get for that, but excited about it and happy to pull it. A 9 on this 97, 97 Jordan. Took a 9 on that. I don't know why. I think that was a 10 in my opinion. Took a 9 on this. I've had two other ones of this where it took 10s. This one did take a 9. Then we have a Michael Jordan that took an 8 from 91 Hoops. So we'll go ahead and put that in its 8 pile. We have a Elite Series rookie from Joe Burrow. Took a 9. Took a 7 on this Jordan with Barkley. Disappointing by that, but can't win them all. Took a 10 on another Retail Burrow. Took a five on this. I think it's discoloration because the card was in great shape. Right now, as I look at it, maybe a little discolored. But uh, yeah, took a five. I'll have to study that a little more. Probably going to end up cracking it. We'll see. Um, for five, you know, took a five. I'm not gonna sure I'm going to ever really make my money back on that, but that's okay. We got a Burrow Gridiron Kings that took a 10. A Justin Fields 9. A 9 on the Prism Black from Justin Fields. A 9 on his second year numbered red extra points. As you can see, it is numbered. So, kind of a cool card, but didn't jam on it, which is kind of frustrating. Fields took an 8. I always get 10s on these. Maybe a little off-centered. Um, otherwise, I'm not sure what I missed on that, but we're going to go in that 8 pile. Remember... If you want to watch a video about um, how to look, what to look for when you're grading, we do. I will link that above, and I'll put that in our YouTube description so you can check that out. I love my Kobe rookies. No idea other than discoloration. Okay, and I always get confused on these cards because you send them in in hopes of getting that ten. It is a little off centered, so I don't think I expected a ten, but I certainly didn't expect a six. So Ralphie Boy and I will have to examine that card a little bit. Try and figure it out. I'm move these around a little bit. All right. Move this one over here. Put them right in order. Five, six, seven, eight. Man, I never like seeing five, six, and sevens. I understand an eight or eight here and there and nine here and there, but Justin Herbert took a 10 on this. Silver. Of course, the silver. No other silvers ever gem. Of course, the Higgins gems out. Another, another Higgins 10, of course. Ellie Day LaCruz, Paper Prospects, took a 10. And last, but certainly not least, this is another one of those Hobby Illusions from Jordan Love. And you can see it did take a 9. But you can see the thicker case once again. So that about wraps up how we did. If you look, kind of give you a little bit of an angle there. You can see the stack is much higher. I will edit the video and let you know how many 10s were in this and how many 9s and how we deal with everything, basically. But thank you so much for checking out our channel. Share this with other people, and I will see you in the next video.